Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you're all doing super well. Today's video is going to be uh, testing out new Maybelline products slash one brand tutorial. I'm using all Maybelline in this tutorial. You guys know I absolutely love Maybelline. They have some really, really incredible products, um, especially for the price point, but even not for the price point, you know, just good, good makeup. Um, and yeah, I think you know, that's really all there is to say, so let's jump into it. All right, I'm gonna start off with the Maybelline Dream Radiant Liquid Hydrating Foundation. Okay, I am so excited about this foundation, you guys. I don't know if you remember a couple of years ago in 2018, I bought a foundation in Europe and it was called the Dream Satin Liquid. Um, and I think this is the same thing because it's like the same packaging. It says hyaluronic acid, collagen. Like, I really think it's the same thing. Um, and I've been using this all week and I do think it's very similar. Um, and yeah, this foundation, you guys, claims to be a radiant finish, medium coverage. I saw on like the display at the store. Um, and yeah, it has hyaluronic acid co and collagen in it. So it basically is supposed to be this kind of like skincare foundation hybrid um, from what the marketing kind of looked like. I have the shade 10 Porcelain Ivory. And I also got one shade up 20 Classic Ivory just because I feel like I'm right in between these two shades, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of this deeper shade. And yeah, you guys, I've been using this all week. It looks so good on the skin. It is a true, ugh. It's a true medium coverage, and I think it just allows my skin to kind of still peek through while providing a little bit of coverage. There's just a lot of hair happening. And yeah, I'm a big fan of it. I feel like it's not drying whatsoever. It has been so cold in Calgary, you guys, like minus 30 all week. That's minus 30 degrees Celsius. Whenever I talk about the weather, I always get comments, but remember I'm in Canada, so we have a different temperature system. Um, but yeah, it's been freezing, you guys, like, and I can, I can really actually notice it in my skin, like, my hands, my lips, just everything. I've been going hard with the hydration, but yeah, doesn't this look nice? Just overall a nice light foundation. It's not super coverage, like it's not full, full coverage, but it just has this nice dewiness, this nice glow to it. Um, and I've really, really been liking it. So um, I'm, I really, I do think it's that same foundation that I loved. Like when I bought that one in Europe, so that would have been in like May of 2018, I swear I used it every single day till it was gone. So I only got a few months out of it. Um, but I really think this is the same and I'm super excited about it. It's kind of become my go-to because it's just light, easy, you know, I've just been really enjoying it. For concealer, I just opened up this one. You guys know that I love this one. I'm sure a lot of you do too. It's the Instant Age Rewind Eraser. It's like one of Maybelline's oldest and kind of most popular cult classic type of products. Um, and like I said, this is a new one, so you gotta really crank it up to get it going. There we go. I always come back to this product though. like. It really is easy to apply. I don't think the spongy tip is super hygienic. I hear people talk about that, but you guys, I don't care. I'm just using it on my face and I like it. And I'm just going to blend that in. By the way, this is the shade Ivory. I know they had a lot of, I think they've changed the shade names over the years. Like I used to use one that was just called Brightener. Um, but this one is called ivory. I don't have my contacts in right now. I like I wear contacts almost every single day, but I've been trying to wear glasses more because I think it's just good to give your eyes a break. But like if I'm squinting, it's because this mirror is right in front of me and I feel like I can't even see. <laughs> I'm looking for some lip balm. My lips are so, so dry. This one from La Roche-Posay. Sycoplast Lips. It is the absolute best lip balm for this time of year especially, just if you have super dry lips. It's amazing. And then for powder, I have the Maybelline um, Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. I've talked about this one as well. Focus on in. Um, I've talked about this one as well, but it is so good. A lot of people like it. It really is kind of the best loose setting powder for the price point. 
Um, I have the shade 10 here and I'm going to use that underneath my eyes and also kind of a light dusting all over my face. It's just Sunday afternoon right now. I'm not really going anywhere, so I'm, I'm not needing like to lock my makeup all in place, but I do like to do a bit of a all over powder just because I don't want my foundation like transferring and getting all over the place, you know? Um, but I do like um, this combination of powder and foundation because I still think my skin has a little bit of luminosity even with setting that um, in place. For bronzer, I'm going to take the City Bronzer. It says a bronzer and contour, what? Bronzer and contour powder. I love this powder. I actually, you guys, was after I filmed my 2019 favorites, I was like, I should have mentioned that because I've been using this a ton. I think this has such a good tone to it uh, for someone with um, my complexion. And I really got a lot of use out of it. And I feel like it has that just really nice pale bronze tone to it. This is the shade um, 100. I think there are deeper shades as well, um, but it's really good. I don't feel like I hear anyone talk about this powder and it is excellent. Like it just is easy, bronzes up the face. I use it all over, but also kind of as a contour. Y'all know, you know, you know? Okay, another new product that I was super excited about is the Cheek Heat. So this says that it is a sheer blush gel, sheer gel cream blush. I'm super excited to see this. I love, love uh, cream blush products. I got the shade 20 Rose Flush and I found the easiest way to do this um, because it is in this little tube is just put a little bit, um, just a little schmish of product on the back of your hand. And then I actually just take um, a stippling brush and just go like this and just lightly dust that on the cheeks. What I really like about this product is that unlike a lot of other kind of cream products, this actually doesn't really offer a ton of payoff in a good way. Like you can actually take a decent amount of product and it really is buildable. It doesn't go like, you know how most products like this, a little bit goes a really long way. With this product, you actually can give yourself a generous amount and it really just looks natural and easy and like a really pretty light pale flush. Like you can see I used up actually all that product and it doesn't look extremely overpowering or anything. And I think it just helps also your blush to last all day long. So I really like these. They had some other shades too, but you guys know I really like kind of that bright pink. So um, next I'm going to take just a powder blush um, over top because I really, I don't know, I rarely, like, I never use a cream blush just on its own. I was trying to find, I have a Maybelline powder blush, what am I trying to say? I have a Maybelline blush palette, but it has escaped me. That's when you have too much, you know you have too much makeup. When literally a palette gets has legs and walks away basically. Um, but I do have these two little single uh, blushes from Maybelline that I quite like. I haven't used them in a long time, um, but they, they're good. They're not like, again, super pigmented color payoff, um, but they just look nice on the skin. So this is the shade Plum. And this is the shade Coral, and I'm gonna kinda just mix these two together. And then I'm going to take the Face Studio Chrome Extreme Intense Metallic Highlighter. Um, this one I did mention in my 2019 favorites. And I'm gonna use that as my highlighter, because it is so pretty. For my brows, I'm going to take this Brow Ultra Slim Pencil. It says 1.5 millimeter defining pencil. I don't think these are new. Um, I think just maybe the packaging has been slightly updated, but I've definitely had, you know, that slim brow pencil from Maybelline before. Maybe it was this exact one. I got the shade Deep Brown. Um, I think I, I've mentioned before, like, I actually am not um, super picky when it comes to brow products. I feel like especially these slim kind of micro brow pencils, I'll kind of do the same thing in a good way. Like I feel like if you can find, you know, this Maybelline one, especially if it's on sale, it gets the job done and it's not super expensive. 
Like they had this one on sale today and it was only like $8. And then a product that I do know is new is this Brow Fast Sculpt Gel Brow Mascara. Um, and it says for naturally colored, shamed, shaped, tamed brows. So I feel like it's, you know, a gimme brow type of product. Um, I got, again, the shade Deep Brown. Um, they also had a clear one, which I was interested in trying. But sometimes when you have super dark brows, a clear shows up almost looking like gray. So maybe I should try that one out and let you guys know. But I got Deep Brown. My goodness. What is happening? My hands are like slippery. There we go. Um, I got Deep Brown just to try today. It has a nice little spoolie on it. I feel like that's pretty typical of what we see with these little brow wands today, you know? This was nice. It is so far brushing my brow hairs kind of upwards, which I like. Um, it looks good. Both of those brow products. Like I said, I don't think this one's new, but this was really good. And it, if, again, was quite affordable. I don't know the exact price. I don't know where the bag is. This one was $13.99. Oh, and this one was $10.99. I must have been looking at the wrong price tag, but still, again, like for brows, I feel like gets the job done. Looks good. So that's good there. Okay, next, this is what I am most excited for. This is a new palette called The Nudes of New York. Um, and I was a little hesitant with this palette, even though I absolutely love the shades in here. You know, there's uh, warm tones, a few cool tones. Like, I was hesitant, but I'm so glad I picked this up. Um, the reason I was hesitant is because, I'm sure as you guys know, Maybelline eyeshadows can be very hit or miss. I've had some Maybelline little palettes like this that are amazing. There's some really good City Mini palettes. That Lemonade palette was amazing. Um, but then, like, you know, those, like, blush nudes palettes, not good. Um, this matte palette, actually, I just have it right here. Um, this little matte palette is really good. I don't like the shape of the pan inside this palette. It's really kind of hard to get your brush in there, but the actual formula is good. But anyways, I've been using this for a few, day few days, you guys and it's really excellent. The mattes blend out well, the shimmers are just really smooth and soft, they don't have any chunks of glitter in them, and I really just think for, you know, a neutral palette from the drugstore, this one is awesome. I really, really have been liking it. Like I said, I've been using it pretty much every day now for like five days. Um, so for today, I'm gonna just do, you know, <laughs> a simple little look here. Um, I'm gonna go into this peachy shade, it is called Creator and pop that into the crease. And maybe we'll do a little zoom. You can really see there, like that was just one dip into the pan and it's really a lot of color payoff. Like I feel like Maybelline really with kind of each palette release really improves. And then I'm going to take this really pretty mauve color. This, it's like kind of matches my headband. I'm so drawn to this shade. It's called Protector. A nice kind of cool tone. You guys know how I love mixing warm and cool tones. I'm putting that in my crease as well, just to create a little bit more depth. And then I'm actually, before I finish the top part, I'm going to take those same colors, Creator and Protector, and put them on my under eye lower lash line is what I'm looking for and all of these shimmer shades you guys like I feel like I want to put them all on my eyes like I really really like the things we have happening in here this beautiful kind of coppery bronze um sorry this one is the coppery bronze a little bit more of a deeper brown we have a more of a cool tone one up here it really is so versatile. I've used this Dreamer shade a lot. You guys know I love that kind of taupey color. Um, so what shall we do today? I think I'm going to take Pioneer, this really pretty one up here. It's just so smooth. And I'm going to pat that on my lid. And then I'm going to take Originator over here and use that as my highlighting shade for my inner corner a light dusting and I've actually been really liking soloist as a highlighting shade as well because it has a lot of color payoff but it's not like super white so to, I don't often put um, a highlight shade on my brow but I really like this one for that and then just because I 
want to, I'm <laughs> going to take Voyager. Again, kind of this like plummy cool tone shade, which I really like. And just pop a little bit of that on the outer corner here of just my lid. But yeah, you guys, I've been using this palette every single day. I think it's awesome. The formulas in here are so good. I know it's simple, it's neutral, it's basic, but I think there's something really nice about it. I think um, it's kind of an exciting launch to come out at the drugstore. Is this something you're interested in? I'm curious to know. All right, and then for eyeliner, I have this new one called the Hyper Easy Brush Tip Liner. I don't know if it's gonna focus here, but it really is a great eyeliner, you guys. Again, I've been using this all week. Um, it's just a simple kind of brush tip, but it's super inky. It just is super black, easy to create a little wing. Um, I will say this is one that I would store upright, just keep it in kind of like your brush container or something, um, because I think it just needs like the liquid to be kind of like flowing downwards um but it's been so good so i'm gonna apply my liner quickly and be quiet i'm gonna be quiet for just a moment not my best work you guys but that's how it goes sometimes uh, but i really do like this eyeliner just in general if it's a great option at the drugstore and it works really well. I've been using it all week, like I said. Um, a new product I haven't tried yet, but I'm super excited is the Falsies Lash Lift, Lash Lift Mascara. Um, I got Black is Black um, and I typically enjoy Maybelline mascaras. So this one basically says it's a double curved lifting brush um, for dramatic volume and length. All right. I'm not gonna curl or anything. We're just gonna see what this baby can do. Okay, there is the mascara on and it worked really well. I really like it. Um, I did kind of like, you know, two generous coats kind of going back and forth. It didn't get clumpy at all. Nice volume, nice length. Um, it's good, really, really good one. Um, I had a lip liner. Guys, believe it or not, I've gotten into lip liner lately. I'm not usually a lip lining type of gal, but um, I have been lining my lips and I feel like it just makes, sorry. Okay, you guys, that literally took me five minutes. Like I should have timed it to open and then my camera stopped recording. But this is the Color Sensational Shaping Lip Liner in Purely Nude. And I love lip liners that are a twist, you know, cause I can never find sharpeners and all that. I really like this one. I find with, even though honestly, I feel kind of new to lip liners, um, but I feel like a lot of lip liners are very brown and this is more pink, so I quite like that. Um, okay, and then they have uh, this new um, lipstick formula, which I have always been a Maybelline lipstick fan. I have a ton, um, but this is called the cream. Like it's just supposed to be really soft and velvety. Like this damn camera. Hello. There we are. So I have Bare Reveal, which is like the pale nude shade and then Rosy Risk, which is like kind of a movie. So I think we'll just do a bit of a mix of the two of them. This one actually really matches that lip liner, hey? I really like their lipstick formula. I don't like anything to be drying and this just is easy to wear and it's moisturizing. So there you have it, folks. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this Maybelline one brand tutorial slash trying out new products. I think you guys should absolutely check out the Dream Radiant Liquid Foundation if you like that medium glowy type of foundation and also this palette as well. It has been really, really enjoyable. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and do the bell subscribe thing because I don't think anyone's seeing my videos, but I really, really appreciate you guys clicking and watching and commenting and liking and all that stuff. Um, you guys are awesome, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!